Imagine a world where nuclear waste becomes the fuel for a revolutionary new energy source. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, hold on to your curiosity because that's exactly what tritium, a byproduct of nuclear power generation, might become. Hello and welcome to Curiosity, where we explore fascinating and intriguing topics about everything. Tritium isn't your average radioactive waste. It's a rare isotope of hydrogen possessing a unique property. It readily fuses with other isotopes, releasing incredible amounts of energy in the process. This fusion reaction is the very power source that fuels the sun and stars. A recent study published in Nature, Nature study on tritium fusion efficiency suggests that using tritium in fusion reactors could unlock a near limitless clean energy source. But the story of tritium goes beyond its potential as a fuel. Take the tale of Luis Walter Alvarez, a Nobel Prize winning physicist. In the 1950s, Alvarez was on a mission to determine the source of excess carbon-14, another isotope in the atmosphere. The culprit, nuclear weapons testing, Alvarez's ingenious use of tritium, a newly discovered isotope at the time, helped identify the source of the radioactive fallout, paving the way for international treaties limiting nuclear tests. So how do we turn this potential into reality? Nuclear power plants already produce tritium, but it's a minuscule amount, roughly one atom for every 10,000 fission. Extracting it requires specialized systems. Canadian researchers have developed a promising method involving separating tritium from heavy water used as a coolant in reactors. Extracted tritium is then stored in specially designed containers. These containers are typically double-walled with a vacuum between them, ensuring any leaks are easily detectable. What about tritium's radiation? Tritium is indeed radioactive, but with a twist. Unlike other radioactive materials, it emits a very weak form of radiation that can't penetrate human skin. The bigger concern is if ingested, tritium is a form of hydrogen and can easily mix with water. However, strict regulations and treatment of water released by nuclear facilities minimize the risk of exposure. But the potential dangers shouldn't overshadow the incredible benefits. Consider the Voyager 1 spacecraft, humanity's farthest reach into the cosmos. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 is powered by decaying plutonium, another byproduct of nuclear fission. The faint glow of tritium mixed with the plutonium keeps the spacecraft's instruments humming, a testament to the longevity nuclear byproducts can provide. So, how exactly can tritium be used for fusion power? Fusion reactors require a mixture of tritium and its heavier isotope deuterium to achieve a sustained reaction. Scientists are developing techniques to inject this fuel mixture into the reactor core where extreme heat and pressure trigger the fusion process. The resulting energy is immense, with minimal radioactive waste compared to traditional nuclear fission. Currently, a handful of countries, including the United States, Canada and South Korea, have the capability to produce and sell tritium. The exact price fluctuates but estimates suggest it can range from tens of thousands to millions of dollars per gram depending on purity. The potential applications of tritium extend beyond fusion power. The glowing markers on some models might utilize tritium, providing a safe and long-lasting illumination. Tritium is also used in medical treatments for cancer and self-illuminating exit signs in buildings, highlighting its diverse applications. Tritium, a byproduct often seen as waste, holds the key to unlocking a clean and sustainable energy future. While challenges remain in extracting, storing, and utilizing tritium efficiently, the potential rewards are vast. This hidden gem from the world of nuclear power might just be the missing piece in the puzzle towards a brighter energy future. Imagine a future city powered by clean, abundant fusion energy fueled in part by recycled tritium. The same technology that illuminates our watches and safeguards our buildings could one day light entire cities. The story of tritium is a testament to human ingenuity, reminding us that even waste can hold the seeds of a brighter tomorrow. But the path to a tritium-powered future isn't without its hurdles. Extracting tritium from nuclear facilities is a complex process requiring specialized equipment and skilled personnel. Additionally, the current production rate barely meets the needs of existing research reactors, let alone large-scale fusion facilities. Scientists are exploring alternative methods to overcome this hurdle, 
One promising avenue involves breeding tritium within the fusion reactor itself. Lithium, another element, can be placed within the reactor walls. As neutrons from the fusion process collide with the lithium, they trigger a reaction that produces tritium, essentially creating fuel as the reactor operates. This self-sustaining approach holds immense promise for the long-term viability of fusion energy. The race to achieve sustained fusion isn't a solo endeavor. The complexity of the technology necessitates international collaboration. The ITER project in France, a massive international effort involving 35 countries, is building the world's largest tokamak, a donut-shaped machine designed to achieve a burning plasma, the holy grail of fusion research. Success at ITER would be a monumental leap forward, paving the way for the development of commercially viable fusion reactors. The United States is also heavily invested in fusion research. The Department of Energy's Frontier program supports several promising projects, including the Spark Tokamak under development at the MIT Plasma Science and Fusion Center. These national efforts, coupled with international collaboration, are accelerating the pace of progress towards a fusion-powered future. The potential economic benefits of fusion energy are staggering. A reliable, near-limitless energy source could revolutionize entire industries, leading to job creation and economic growth. Imagine a world where energy costs plummet, freeing up resources for other sectors. The development of a robust tritium market would be crucial in this scenario, with countries like Canada, a leader in tritium extraction, potentially playing a pivotal role. As with any powerful technology, ethical considerations surrounding tritium use must be addressed. Safety protocols for handling and storing tritium need to be continuously improved, minimizing the risk of accidents or leaks. Security measures to prevent misuse of this radioactive material are equally important. Additionally, the environmental impact of the entire fusion process, including tritium production and waste disposal, needs to be thoroughly evaluated. The story of tritium is a fascinating example of how scientific discovery can transform waste into a valuable resource. It's a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of clean, sustainable energy solutions. While challenges remain, the potential rewards are undeniable. Tritium, once considered a mere byproduct, could become a catalyst for a brighter energy future, illuminating the path towards a cleaner, more sustainable world. That's all for today's episode of Curiosity. We hope you found this exploration of tritium fascinating. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more thought-provoking science content. Until next time, stay curious.